Hello, hello. Welcome back to KSM 1313 Live uh, Tech Session, guys. Today, our topic is, is very quick, very simple again. Um, how to create lightning email templates in Salesforce. Um, it, again, comes down to business users. They should know how to create, and they should know what's the difference between public and private. And uh, you can create private templates. You can create public templates for your team. And uh, you can utilize these templates in the cases. Um, it's, it's basically for any customer services, for uh, billing queries, for complaint system, for um, IT support maybe, or you know, desk, if you are a help desk. So variety of uh, templates you can create. So I'm going to show you a quick demo, how to get there, how to create, how to do field merge on that, okay? And here you can see this slide, basically all my connections and go to those links and feel free to follow and subscribe and comment. Thank you so much already, um, the people who are already following. Um, let's go next. Okay, so this is a, a startup slide and let's go. So this is going to look like, if you can see on the left hand side, I have highlighted a, a option called email templates. Um, this is how you search from the app launcher. So, so these dots are actually app launchers in Salesforce. And this is where you go and, uh, and look for the option, how to, how to create that, okay? Right, next one. Again, any comments, any questions, any, any queries, feel free to comment on YouTube or uh, as, uh, as normally, I think I get all the questions via, via the inbox from Instagram. Uh, I'm happy with that as well. So feel free, whatever is convenient for you guys, keep posting questions and, and next, uh, what would you like to learn, right? Let's see email templates in action now, all right then. Here is, I'm logged in as a Salesforce and you can see this is home and uh, cases and contacts and account. So what we need is um, email templates. So I have already opened a tab, but how to open this tab? So let's close this and go to the app launcher and I'm going to type in email and here is email templates. And I have created a, created a one, one dummy template here, which you can see. So when I click on this, I can see so much information already. Um, so where, where I can see the description, where I can see response uh, description as well, it's, it's, it works with the title, what would you like to call it, yeah? And now in the subject line, I put some information like case subject, case, uh, case number, dear, recipient name. So these are, you know, whatever you can see in the curly brackets, they are all all the merge fields from the Salesforce, okay? Based on, based on each table, each, each object, like, you know, accounts, contact, and cases. I'm keeping it very short today, just to the cases, but you can do the similar approach for contact and accounts as well, okay? So let's do, let's have a quick one now. So I go back to email templates and I would click new. Okay, so now what I would like to create is, first of all, this is my um, maybe case, case comment updates. Okay, and now what would you like to call as a description? I would say here, um, update to lines. Okay, and the subject. So now either I can, I can copy and paste from my old templates if I, if I want to, and I can also use here, and I will come to come to the object. So which object I'm going to choose? So first of all, from the private email templates on the above entry. So if you can see here, so you know what I did? I actually went straight to merge and I can't see any object. So I can see these are the default. So now what do I need on the left? Which object I'm going to select with? Because these are all standard right? Out of box Salesforce, they are showing you recipient, sender, and organization, okay? But I need what fields I need from which object, okay? In order to select that, I need to cancel this page. I need to go back here, 
related entry point. This is a very important field when you're creating any template. So first one is email template name. Second is the description. This is the critical one I need on case. If I need on account, if I need on contacts, right? Then, then you will get accordingly what object you're going to choose. You will get those fields, okay? Case, right? I would like to keep it public and I would like to go to subject. Now you will see the difference. There you go. Can you see case? I want a subject. I got subject and I put insert here. Okay, so I need to, everything goes to the body. So you have to copy and paste here. Okay, now I go back and I choose here and I do a uh, number. So let's do the number and I'm on the case and I do the number and case number and it insert. Okay, so then again, copy this and paste. Right, so now this is below is an email body. Okay, I put in dear, um, and then from here, I again go back to the field. This is the last one I'm going to show you, then we will go to the next step, and I'll show you some shortcuts as well, okay? So now go back to the case, and uh, either we have a recipient name, or you can choose supplier name based on your, um, based on your uh, approach, what exactly uh, you, you're looking for. So let's say I'm going to do recipient name and I will say insight and that will straight come here. And then I would write all my email body and then start with signatures, okay? It's so what will happen is, so I'm going to cancel this and you will see, go back to, I'm going to create my, my template that originally created. So you can see on the left-hand side, description, then I have case, then I have, I kept this as a private because this is my own, but I can still send it to anybody, okay? But if I want a team share, I can, I can do the uh, public as well. You can also tell your Salesforce admin in the business to have a folder, which, which is maybe you can call a team one or team IT support or team um, technical support uh, kind of template. And you can tell them guys, set the permissions up. So then, when you look at here, you will get those options, the folders when you log in, and then you can create all the folders as a super user for those people. Okay, but you need a folder name. But right now, let's choose public for now. Okay, and look here, I have created all this, right? And I put their recipient and all that. Thanks for reaching out. Happy to help you. Happy to help you if you want to make change. Happy to help you regarding. You can also have the same subject line here as well in the body, okay? Then at the bottom of the page, I can, I can design the signatures, who is the sender name, department, phone, email, and website is always static, that's why I didn't mention. And, and then the center company name. And now where is this information coming from, okay? We need to be very careful making sure that when we're creating a user, that user on Salesforce does have that all information. So I'm going to a little bit in the back end now. So when you go to the setup, okay, and click here. So make sure when you're creating organization users into the Salesforce, you need to provide these instructions to your team or, or, or your um, uh, admins, basically, or support admins to provide that all information, right? So look at here, so I have a department. So if I search, so if I search D-E-P-A-R-T, department, technical support, one, two, three, okay? And I, I must be able to see somewhere a company name. If not here, there must be in the company information. So there are two places basically. So look at the company name. Also make sure in your organization, there is a there is a back end another option it's called uh, company information so which is here and in the shortcut so when i search company and i go to company information click here and this is all about company so make sure this all information is updated to represent on the templates when you're doing the merge fields okay so let's see in action. So what will be the output? It's very simple, guys. So let's go back to Salesforce and 
I have this template created. Now, again, I'm going to show you the easy step, another one. So let's save this one. And I'm going to clone this. Sorry, I don't need to do any hard work, right? I cloned it and I want to call this one as a uh, client update one, right? And yes, let's just use the same number, uh, same description here and case type. And I would like to do the public or my own. Now I can easily change, change this wording. Okay, now what will happen is here, do I need the whole wording? I don't need it. I can just remove this wording and I would look for, do I have any main merge fees, right? So I was, uh, insert merge fee, sorry. And then I look for, um, I look for some updates, right? Um, internal or description, sorry, my spellings. So you can add the description, the whole description will come here, right? Okay. Or, or you can have a, let's see how many fields I'm getting from here. So you get thread, email, that is very beneficial as well, because that will keep the previous conversation if you need the, the whole thread ID and it will interact directly email to case functionality, okay? But I'm not going to detail about any anything related um, the threads basically, because that will be more technical. So your work is mainly focus on the work fields you can see and, and what you can, you can directly come into, okay? And then you can use this template for any next step, uh, what you uh, need for case comments. You can copy paste data here, and then let's just save this one. It's all here, okay? Right, so I have created a new template, cloned it will take only less than one minute, and next template is ready. Um, where the team needs to send some kind of updates to, to the client or the steps to the client, they can choose this template, start typing and send the steps to, to, to the client, right? Then now, now the next step, how to choose these templates when I'm using the real time. So I come back to the case. So let's pick up any case that I have created here and I come back to the emails. And then from here, I scroll it down and where you can, uh, so these signatures actually, they are coming from somewhere else. So what I'm going to do is, let's remove these signatures, okay? And what I'm going to use is click here, insert, and I will use first response. All right, okay, look here. So the whole template comes here, every single information. Do I want to see the preview? Yes, I can see the preview, look here. So on the left hand side, I don't have phone number added. That's why it's, it's empty, but I have emails. I have web, I have company name. I have the signature of the uh, uh, the sender. Look, I'm also getting the, the name of the, the person in the contact. So I'm sure if I scroll it up, look, this is the contact name. It's, it's here, it's all matched up, okay? So now let's send this email. Let's see how it looks like when I go to external. Okay, email sent, it's been recorded on the right hand side. You can verify it if you click here, right? It's all added. Now let's go to the my mailbox that let's see if I have received the email. There you go, started failure and okay, looks safe. So I have just received the email on behalf of this email from the Salesforce, blah, blah, blah. And I get all the signatures and the same template. Okay, the subject line was, starting generator after electrical failure and the case number. So look at this. So thanks for reaching out. I would like to happy and regarding starting generator after electrical failure, right? So this is the whole template. Guys, hope you like it. This is short and easy one. Again, how to create email templates, the difference between private and public folders. You can have your custom folder by requesting to your admin team and um, and you can you can carry on using, okay? So I'm sure now you can create multiple folders and how to use insert feed for different objects. If you have any questions, please keep comment and uh, send me a query or anything. Happy to help and uh, we'll take next video accordingly, okay? Thank you so much. Have a good one, guys. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and comment and uh, give me more ideas. Also, I, I do have a link for all my social media contact, which is also on this slide. 
It's linktr.ee slash ksm1313 live. Thanks again. See you on next video, guys. Thank you. Bye.